Hello there. This is a video for people who might be struggling to understand Shakespeare. And when you come to Shakespeare for the first time, it's rather difficult to break it down. Learning to understand Shakespeare is like learning to understand another language. It's very difficult during the flow of the speech to be able to break it down and figure out exactly what is causing you your difficulties. It's difficult to do anything about a problem if you don't know its cause. So in this video I'm going to try and start you off with one of the most common and yet the least detected of all the things that cause people difficulty in understanding Shakespeare's English. You can put this on pause for a moment if you like and try and think of what you see as your principal difficulties in understanding Shakespeare's language. These are a few that I see a lot and they usually just express a person's frustration at not really knowing why they can't understand the language. It hasn't really got much to do with thee and thou, it's mostly to do with rhythm. Before you can understand Shakespeare you have to understand that it's written rhythmically. Look at these lines here. Again you can put this video on pause while you read them more carefully. Is there anything unusual about these lines? certainly doesn't seem like natural speech. When you start to look closely you realize that there is a beat in the way that this is written. And there is exactly the same number of beats on each line. This is something that we call blank verse. It's rhythmic speech which is poetry, but it doesn't have a rhyme. If the rhyme was there, you would spot that it was rhythmic. The rhythm is this one. It's a little bit embarrassing, but I'll say it anyway. Ti tum, ti tum, ti tum, ti tum, ti tum. Putting a stress in a certain part of the word. Look at this. You would say chicken soup, armchair, cigarette, magazine. In English, that's where we put the stress in these particular words. But not everyone would put it there. An American would put the stresses in a completely different place. Chicken soup. Armchair. Cigarette. Magazine. It's the position of the stress in the word that gives it this sort of binary rhythm or iambic is what we talk about in metrical poetry. Now Shakespeare uses this paired beats approach in groups of five pairs. So it's called iambic pentameter. Five pairs. Ten beats on each line. When you're used to working with blank verse, then you'll find it easy. But if it comes up and you're not looking for it, it can be very confusing because the characters seem to speak in very artificial ways. And the thing is, in Shakespeare, it's not consistent all the way through. Some bits are in blank verse and some aren't. If you know it's coming, you'll find it easier to work with. 